This is at their four coats of paint up top. I did the fourth uh, coat off camera, but yeah, this is the last coat. I'm gonna let this dry. I'm gonna go run a few errands, come back, and then I'm gonna do the backside. And then after that, we should be hitting it with clear coat. But um, yeah, this is what it's looking like so far. The paint actually looks really good. It looks really good. I could see some imperfections and all of that, but I'm gonna be wet sanding it before I throw the clear coat on, so. I'm going to be painting, wet sanding, then we're going to throw the clear coat on and it should look very, very good after that. Because there are a little bit of sparkles, a little bit of flakes in this paint that I can see. But it definitely is looking good right now. I can't wait to throw the clear coat on and see how it's going to look. Then we're going to start on sanding the trunk with them. But um, yeah, we're going to let this dry and I'll see y'all later. Alright. First four coats are completely dry. First four coats are completely dry on here. So I'm gonna flip it over. We're gonna start painting on the back. Also, I did get my other thing of primer from AutoZone. They said it was just a mix up. They only ordered one instead of two. But they ended up having another one in the store. So they gave it to me. I got it. I'm happy. And that's what I'm gonna be using on the trunk lid. But uh, yeah, let's flip this over and start getting on the second or another. Get started on the other side, I mean. guys this is the end of me painting this I did three coats on the uh, underside only because the underside really isn't going to be seen too much so I only did three coats of paint on the underside so I'm gonna let this dry for maybe like let it set in for about 30 minutes then I'm gonna hit it with the clear coat and I'm gonna probably do two coats of clear on the bottom and three on the top and I can't wait to really see what this is gonna look like and I'm just as excited as y'all are, but yeah, I really like this black because I y'all can't really see it. This camera really ain't doing justice and the lighting in here just isn't right, but this black looks very, very nice. But um, yeah, let's wait for this to dry. Spray it with the clear coat. Oh yeah, here's the emblem that was on the trunk lid. I also spray painted that with the same black and I'm going to hit that with the clear coat so that's shiny as well. But yeah, there's the Chevy emblem. I have to uh, get a new Impala emblem to go on the trunk lid, and that's probably gonna be the only emblem, other emblem that I'm gonna put back on there. The chrome trim that's on the trunk lid, that's also gonna get painted black, but I have to take that off my trunk lid that's on the car already. But I'm probably not gonna wait to do that until I'm like almost done and almost ready to paint on the, uh, on the actual trunk lid because I had to figure out because there are holes I'm gonna have to uh, figure out something to cover up the holes on my car but um yeah guys this is the Chevy emblem that I also painted clear coats done on it and all of that but now I'm gonna set this up somewhere so I wait and completely 100% dry then 
I don't know how to do the uh, wet sanding process because I don't want to mess it up. So I'm going to see if I can get some advice or someone to help me out with that. But uh, drop it down in the comments if any of y'all got any uh, advice of wet sanding the clear coat to make it look perfect and all that. Um, right now, this is the second coat of clear on the spoiler. That thing's looking real good. It's starting to see reflection. I'm going to probably do four coats on top. I did two under it. Once again, I only did two coats of clear under it because the underside's not really going to be shown that much. But I'm going to do four coats up top, maybe five, depending on how it looks after the uh, the fourth coat. But right now, it's looking real good. Looking real good right now. But, um, yeah, I'm waiting for this to dry. Then I'll show y'all. What it's going to look like once I'm done with the fourth coat. I'm not going to show y'all the third coat. I'm going to just show y'all once I'm completely done. And I don't know. Maybe we'll start on the trunk lid in this video. Maybe I'll start in the next video. But I don't know. We'll figure that out once we get there. Alright guys. This is the fourth and final coat of clear on the spoiler. And as y'all see it's very very shiny now. Now, as I said before, if anyone has any advice on how to wet sand this, let me know. Drop it down in the comments. Um, yeah, other than that, this definitely was a success. Oh, my foot's sticking to the paper, but this was definitely a success. Got this completely painted. Now I'm going to let it dry, let it cure for about a day before I even go to touch it or even completely inspect it and all of that. Think about wet sanding, but... I'm going to do some research on that. Y'all drop your comments down there. Um, the only thing now is to get started on the trunk lid. So we about to get started on the trunk lid. Trying my best to try to mock it up. The paint's still wet. I couldn't wait. So I'm trying to mock it up, see what it looked like. And it's looking good. You see the white paint? It's all done. Ooh, almost fell. Clear coat's all done. Looking nice and good. Looking good for my very first paint job I ever did. Looking nice and clean. Both the spoiler and the trunk lid. I got to clean this. This got some dust and all that on it. But yeah, it's looking clean. I'm going to probably let this dry for a day. Then I got to pull the uh, chrome trim off my other trunk lid. And then I'm going to paint that black. But look like it's almost done. Got the spoiler in the trunk lid on there. Paint looking clean. As y'all see, this is what I was talking about. That the whites are not the exact same if you look right here. Even though the car is dirty, if I were to clean it right now, it would still be the same. So this white is a lot brighter than the other one. But it definitely looks good for now. Just got to put the Chevy badge on there. Paint the chrome part black. And that's it. But all of this was done with rattle can. As y'all seen. I bet I keep walking back and close and far away from the car. That's why I keep locking and unlocking. But yeah, it looks nice and clean. Definitely to me. For my first paint job, it definitely looks good. But uh... That's it for this video, and I'll catch y'all in the next one.